next dish we're going to have is uh, <coughs> a lak papazza, crazy water. Uh, cherry tomato, garlic, uh, parcel. The crazy water, crazy water is a uh, fisherman, you know, they going with the boats, going the fishing, come back, uh, they're hungry of course, they have to cook that for themselves. They catch this beautiful sea bass or sea cream, whatever they have. And, uh, uh, you know, you just imagine a fisherman, what, what he has. He has to go olive oil, Mediterranean, tomatoes, no problem, basil, no problem, garlic, no problem, a little bit of sea water, you know, just imagine nowadays, forget about pollution. You know, it wasn't for the beautiful yeah. Mediterranean. And then they put a little, uh, uh, the sea bass, everything all together. And then from the, the sea, sea water, that's where the crazy water come from. Uh, come from. And they used to steam this beautiful fish mm -hmm. into this uh, cherry tomato, the Mediterranean flavor, really. Yes. And I'm going to do with this spinach, just blanched spinach, again, uh, with the lemon juice, and a, ni a nice bruschetta. And the, the old fishermen, what they eat, they just, uh, you know, Italian, how they eat on the table, just a fork, bread. They have to have a bread with their the meal, so they have a bread, you know, always, uh, you can't eat without bread in Italy. Yeah. Uh, and they use, you know, the, 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 the bruschetta you use as a knife. You, you know, you eat with your right hand side, right, right hand, for, you know, and that's what it is, that's pepper food, but you can't very it. Okay, once we make sure that this is done, now we run the knife from here, on the case. Okay, from the back, and then we go from underneath the pin here. Is this how you fill it, the fish? That's right, that's how you fill the fish. There we are. Put this one here. Like every fish, sea bream, sea bass, red, you know, they have a bone, long here, along the spine. So we have a little bit of a special plier here, where you pull the things away. Okay, all we need is just a a nice chunky piece of meat. Uh, presentation, okay. and it will cook much faster. Uh, I mean, all, all the type of fish like that, you always cook a little bit, just to, to give a little bit of uh, the flavor goes inside the meat. Mm -hmm. You cook faster, it doesn't dry too much very quickly. And because you, you, even if you pan fry, you pan fry with the skin down and make it nice and crispy, yeah. the heat will go inside there once you, you know, and it doesn't over dry. So we got this uh, done. A good olive oil. Excellent. Okay. Now, put the uh, sebas. Uh, again, I, I need to put a good pinch of salt because I haven't got the sea water. I'm not going to put pepper here. This is uh, something which uh, it doesn't need the pepper. Basil. Just turn off a good bunch of basil. One cup of garlic. Cut the tomatoes. As long as they're nice and mature, and uh, that's it. And unfortunately, we're going to put some water. I haven't got the sea water, but I have to put Thames water. Not too much, a little bit, and that's it. Put the lid on, and leave to cook. Ten minutes is ready. In the meantime, we're going to have we're going to have some spinach, some. Let's put the bruschetta to be ready. 
spinach. A pinch of salt, olive oil, this one is ready. It's a very simple dish. I choose this dish because uh, uh, you know you, you want people to tackle at home. Yeah, and uh, uh, it's not point to showing a complicated dish is where you're stuck in it hours and hours to, to cook. Uh, and you want and, and not just that uh, a good fresh fish. You need it very it is simple. And the simplest way, the, the less you, you, you touch a fish or whatever it is, the better it is. Exactly, so just imagine people at home, they haven't got time, they just stop at the supermarket or anywhere, they see some nice fresh fish, it's so simple, you know, a bunch of spinach, go home, you know, you don't have to have a, you know, junk food yeah, or fast great. food. That's what I call proper fast good food. Very healthy. Yeah. It's very, very healthy. Now, the, the only way you can, the only way you can tell a fish is that it's when you go with the finger, you press, at the moment I can tell, it's almost like a rubber, so it's not ready. So it's almost like the, like like the meat is bouncing back. Ball, like a bouncing ball, you know. Yeah. So if you press, you see it's bouncing back a little bit. I can tell it nearly ready. So I'll, you see the, the, the water, we made it like a sauce, olive oil make a sauce, the cherry tomato just cook in there, and it, it's just a... Let's put a lid on because we don't want to lose the steam. What we're going to do, we're going to have this bruschetta, cover garlic, just wrap on top, very simple. Little bit of olive oil. Spinach, some of the ones that you want to say in tail. Sipas, pacco pazza, with spinach and bruschetta. What we have here, healthy food, you know, uh, and not just it's a balance between uh, uh, fish, which is good for you, tomatoes, garlic, of course garlic is good for you, olive oil is good for you, it's a uh, good cholesterol, 
Yeah. But it's not fat in there, the only fat there is, is, uh, <laughs> is the olive oil. Okay, fine, well, a little bit of fat, but it's, a, it's good for the cholesterol. Bread, carbohydrate, so it's a very well balanced food. So you have the green, you've got the tomato, you've got the vegetable there, fish, and carbohydrate. Perfect, 10 minutes. You don't find this recipe for any cookery book. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Voila.